Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about the tragic tale of Major Henry Rathbone. By April 1865, the Civil War was in its waning days. On April 2nd, Richmond, the Confederate capital, was evacuated, and one week later, General Robert E. Lee surrendered to General Ulysses S. Grant at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia. In Washington, D.C., an air of jubilation prevailed. President Lincoln, relieved of the burden of war, was cheered by raucous crowds outside of the executive mansion. On April 14th, Lincoln and his wife Mary attended a performance at Ford's Theater. They were accompanied by Miss Clara Harris, a friend of Mrs. Lincoln's, and her fiancé, Major Henry Rathbone. During the performance, John Wilkes Booth, an actor and Southern sympathizer, snuck into the presidential box and shot Lincoln in the head. Seeing the smoke from the pistol shot, Rathbone lunged at Booth and briefly grappled with him. However, the assassin, armed with a large knife, slashed at Rathbone, severely lacerating his arm. Despite his wound, Rathbone made another attempt to grab Booth, but missed as the assassin leapt from the box to the stage below. Lincoln died early the next morning. Rathbone, who had lost a tremendous amount of blood, eventually recovered from his wound. He and Clara were married in 1867 and eventually had three children. Yet, from the moment of the assassination in Ford's theater, Rathbone's mental state began a dramatic and troubling decline. He abruptly resigned from the army in 1870 and complained of strange pains and illnesses. Along the way, he began suffering from hallucinations and in an increasing paranoia. Life became increasingly difficult for Clara as her husband grew more unstable and she grew increasingly frightened of him. Rathbone was gripped with a fear that Clara was planning on taking the children and leaving him. He became more depressed and his behavior became more erratic. Despite the deteriorating relationship, the Rathbones embarked for Europe in 1882. By December 1883, the family had taken up residence in Hanover, Germany. On December 24th, in a hallucinatory rage, Henry Rathbone shot and killed his wife and then attempted to stab himself to death. Rathbone survived the self-inflicted knife wound and was committed to an asylum in Hildesheim, Germany. He would live in comfortable isolation, haunted by hallucinations and paranoia and memories of Lincoln's assassination. R Henry Rathbone died on August 14, 1911 and was buried near his wife in Hanover. Lincoln's death was a profound national tragedy, but it also led to a smaller, more personal one. Major Rathbone was never able to escape the events of Ford's Theater, and many believe that the assassination caused his mental collapse. In many ways, the assassin's bullet not only took Lincoln's life, but shaped the fate of those who accompanied him. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.